Hi ladies, welcome back for another season. Thanks so much for returning. I've got a few um, tips here to make sure we're all on the same page and I haven't told just one of you and not told the others. So here we go with the downstairs bathroom. The shower curtains get uh, iron on them so fast that this is what we're going to do. Um, I've got a whole bunch of really thin, cheap um, shower curtains. So there's a supply here. If they start to look orange, please switch them out and fold up the other one somewhat and put it in the garage. Thanks. And then here on the towels, I'd like you to cut, um, not cut, I want you to fold them in thirds uh, so then they will fit in a double stack like this. That's very helpful. Um, when you will clean the bathroom, I'd like you to use a magic eraser and kind of soak it with the rust remover and then just wipe the tub and it'll come right off. If we squirt it in there, it leaves, you know, uneven blotchy stuff. So, uh, do rinse it off any chrome that gets on because that's what happened when I did that. That was me. Um, when you're all done with the bathroom, you can clean the floor with just a Clorox wipe if you, on your hands and knees if you want. That was really fast for me. Uh, make sure your toilet paper is always well supplied here. And uh, of course the extra is in the big blue trunk in the big bedroom downstairs. And when you're all done, just take one more look and almost always I will find one more hair. Just make sure you find that last hair, especially back here too. I know this thing is a pain, but it does keep jewelry from going down and gobs of hair. Just take this toothbrush that's under the sink, uh, get off the hair and do a squirt with the iron out stuff and it'll be done. Here in the deck room, I have an extra queen mattress pad uh, because if you see a stain on one and you don't have time to get it out or you have some issue, um, definitely use this one here. Um, once again, all the twin sheets are up there. If this dish mat gets gross, um, I always have an extra one down here. It's in the wash right now, but the plain beige one, just switch those out. Another thing in the kitchen this year, people get stuff really mixed up even though they have the, the um, labels. So if this, just take a look through the cupboards. If the serving bowls are in here, put them over with the serving bowls. Um, if they get the knives all goofed up, you know, this is steak knives only here. Then they tend to get um, the bowls all goofed up. Just take a look around. You know, the very large things are supposed to be down here. And we will keep this big pot in here though, because this is just kind of the basics. Thanks. We have a new ceiling fan, so it actually should be of help when you're cleaning. I might help dry the floor. It will work fine on high. It won't uh, buck, buck all over the place like the other one. And we have a new TV stand, so it should look like this. Checkers and chess, magazines, and the coffee table that the TV used to be on now will be over here. I'd like to have the up north at the lake book and the last 40 book out here. Thanks to Sarah for telling me about the last 40 book. And these are new, these are ours. They are not for the lost and found. As always, if you find stained items, uh, please get them out of circulation and put them in that bag in the laundry room. Extra hand soap uh, here upstairs so you can fill the upstairs ones and the downstairs ones. Uh, you can keep it under the sink or in the laundry room supply. And I've changed my mind on the silverware. Um, just take a look if it looks, if you find several dirty ones, then just soak it in some soapy water or something and then air dry. For sure air dry, don't take the time to hand dry them, but probably start that early enough that you can hand dry. Move things so the toaster should be over here. We're gonna have the brown knives here because they've all been sharpened. And then we're gonna have the beverage corner over here should look like this some mugs there. Um, I like to have the butter dish and salt and pepper out here. 
and I put those colored knives in here because they're really not that great. That's about it for now, I guess. Thanks again so much for coming back this year. And um, remember each time you clean to give me a little blurb on how people left the place so I can write a review and your hours and we'll send out the checks. Thanks again, bye.